Hey everybody, Angel here. The episode you're about to watch may feel a bit odd right now, as we filmed this in September 2019, prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. So you won't see any masks, and not so much social distancing. We hope you're staying safe and healthy, and we can't wait till we can start traveling again and show you more great adventures. Feliz Aventuras. Uh, with jet skis, there's no seat belts, no airbags, no nothing to keep you safe. All right. Okay. So if you drive us safe, you'll be safe. All right. Perfect. All right. I'm, cool. I can be safe. All right. Cool. I can be safe. <laughs> All right. Oh gosh. That's it. As a lifelong adventurer, I've learned that amazing experiences can be found just about anywhere. Sometimes they're epic, sometimes they're humbling, and almost always they're about the people you meet along the way. Whether it's air, water, or land, join me as I explore new places and help you find your next adventure. This episode of AWOL is brought to you in part by Visit Curry Tuck Outer Banks, North Carolina and our friends at All Trails. All Trails, your guide to the outdoors. Along the northernmost coastal region of North Carolina, you'll find yourself in Curry Tuck County. Separated by an inland sound, the Curry Tuck mainland, Knott's Island to the north, and its barrier islands on the coast are connected by a labyrinth of waterways, a handful of bridges, and only two main roads. This portion of the Outer Banks is known for sun and fun-filled vacations. And oh man, the beauty that surrounds the abundant nature preserves and protected game lands you'll find here, it kind of makes sense why Curry Tuck has been a destination for travelers from all over the world. I'm here to uncover the adventures in the air, land, and sea of Curry Tuck County to find out what draws people here for a week or a lifetime and to take in the salt-filled air and fleeting beauty before the wind and the sea reclaim this shifting landscape. You can easily drive to Curry Tuck County from the west, north, or south. However, I'm choosing to do something a bit more unique to visits to the Outer Banks. I'm taking the ferry from Knott's Island across the Curry Tuck Sound where I'll get my first taste of what Curry Tuck has to offer and greet the new day on the water. It's a good morning here. We're in Lower Curry Tuck at the Curry Tuck County Rural Center. And I'm meeting up with Ben and some of his friends. We're going to see the sunrise on the water on a kayak. On one of these guys. And it should be pretty. Later, world. Good morning. Get that rhythm going. (laughs) 
So this is a campground for the, for the uh, people who are kayaking the coast. This is a designated point to camp along the way. I would have never thought to like paddle down the coast. You know, it's a thing, you know, just like hiking the Appalachian Trail, always people that kayak the coast. This area we're at right now is not known for fishing, it's known for duck hunting. Really? Yeah, and this is some of the most prized duck hunting land in all of North America. Huh. And, um, and that's really, the, the, the name Curry Tuck is from the Native American term, mm -hmm. which is uh, Cora Tank, which means wild geese. That's why you don't see a lot of development in Curry Tuck, because yeah. they're trying to protect these wildlands to keep the wildlife here so they wow. can continue to hunt fish and have their farms. I think it's kind of interesting to like the hunting and fishing is kind of what keeps the interest to preserve the nature and everything yeah, like that. Yeah, big time. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. I do community outreach through the North Carolina Coastal Federation. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. We do. It's mostly um, more inland at risk youth. It's yeah. called Youth Rise Up. And, um, and that's where I was getting where I have kids that have never been in the water in their life. Total phobia, can't swim. Kids that like never been in boats, um, come from just shattered homes, so you name it. But you know, it's all basically kids, and I say kids are all the way up to 21 years old that have had their backs against the wall from day one. I mean, I hate to like be super biased to like the outdoors, but like that can like change someone's life. Oh, absolutely. You know? <laughs> so we're gonna cruise this way. We'll just go around the island. Just kind of cruise, let the winds. Once we get around the, the bend, I think the winds is going to kind of put us in cruise control. Man, I think we got up at like 4.30 to make it over here. But when you see that sunrise come up over the sound, it's definitely worth it. Beautiful here. The waterways that connect Currituck County bend and twist their ways through the landscape but it's a bit hard to get a true appreciation for their number and scale from the ground. To get a bird's eye view and finally experience the air in AWOL for the first time, I'm stopping at an open field along Route 158 to meet up with Andy Thompson, a professional hang glider with Kitty Hawk Kites. I started flying hang gliders in 2010, so it's about, about nine years I've been flying now, okay. pretty much full time. What on earth made you decide to start flying around in this thing? Uh, just a little sense of adventure, I think. Um, just an escape from the real world to get up in the sky and see things from the bird's eye view. Yeah. So here we're in the flatlands, so we're not running off any mountains. Okay. Uh, we do have this ultralight here. It's called a dragonfly. It's specifically built two tow hang gliders up. And then my job as pilot in the hang glider is just to stay behind the airplane. Ready? Yeah! Alright, wind us up. Let's go. Bye bye. Short roll across the ground. Easy to get the speed going. Ooh, weird. Oh. Man, we're out of here. Oh, this is like. Ah! <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> doesn't take too long to leave the ground behind, does it? Alright, up and over the clouds. Sweet. Oh yeah, beautiful up here. Oh, that's so rad. Oh man. <laughs> awesome view down the beach though. That's yeah, beautiful. it is. Really cool. Three, two, and one. Ooh. Ooh. Watch out. Oh my gosh, these. <laughs> oh, my... oh, that's nutty. <laughs> you won't stop for a while. Uh, so let's see, why don't you put your hands right up here on these bars where mine are. Pulling in, moving weight forward, trying that. Don't be so gentle, a little more. There you ah! go. Uh -huh. Slowly relax the pressure, move weight back. Good, back to neutral. Excellent. Let's start with a little bit of pulling in 
and then pull that right bar towards your right shoulder and relax. Okay. That's oh. it. And that's all it took for a right <laughs> turn. Oh, weird. Now you totally go to neutral and try to come out of that right turn. So left hand, left shoulder, hold pressure on that until you feel everything start to balance out and level out. So uh, why don't you give me a, a 360 to the, let's go to the left. Okay. Pull weight over to the left. We'll do a full circle all the way around. All right, full circle. There you go. Is that right? Yeah, now just relax. for a little adventure? Let's go for it. Woo! Oh, God! <laughs> Woo! Oh, the... Oh, the... Oh, the... Woo! That was... Nuts. Sorry, I couldn't resist. No, that was so good. <laughs> that was so good. I've been waiting for that for a while. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I wasn't sure what was happening. <laughs> That was some soft lighting. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, how about that? That was good. <laughs> oh man. Good time? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like flying like a bird. Right? Man, it was super surreal actually. Like, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, I don't know how to describe it. Oh, sweet. Yeah, you gotta do it. You just have to do it. Good morning world. We're hanging out and we're going to go surfing today on Kerala. I'm just riding over to meet up with my new friend Phil. He's gonna take a surfing. I think he's bringing some friends along and uh, yeah, it's a good way to start. Hey, what's up man? How you doing? What's going on? Not too much. Welcome, welcome. How was the ride in? <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Nice. You guys ready nice. to go surfing today? Yeah, man, I'm ready. We got a bunch of boards. We got some good swell coming in. We're gonna have a fun day. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let me park this bike and we can roll out. Cool, let's do it. I'm not articulate like you. Uh, we're just gonna keep driving here for a while and try to find a spot where nobody's hanging out so we can kind of have it to ourselves that hopefully is right in front of, I guess like a sandbar, and that's making sweet ass waves. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this actually used to be where the sound was. So this was all marshland. No way. Yeah, and because of like the Outer Banks is like a uh, shifting uh, barrier island, uh, this is now the ocean. I'm not articulate like you I swear I know how you value these words But I cannot make poetry out of feelings like you do So here's the thing, I love to surf. I've just never claimed I was any good at it. I think it's best to hand it over to the locals.
It seems like all the people you guys are hanging out with, they're like transplants too. They came down here and found paradise. They actually call us the Island of Misfit Toys. Everybody in Corolla? Kind of, yeah. I've had people on kayak tours this year that was already asking me if I would be back next year. They want to see you again. I guess. You're their friend now. <laughs> I am. When people come here, like, y'all make memories for them. Yeah. Live a week like how we live a week, you know? We like to try to be as, as positive and spread as much cool stuff as possible. Almost take this place for granted. Never. My aunt sent me this card and on the front it was like, hope you found your happy place. And inside she wrote, I know you did. That really pulled my heart straight. <laughs> like, yeah, I did. The sport of kiteboarding is unique among the board sports. It harnesses the wind to fuel the need for adventure in a complex symphony of gear and nature that takes years to master. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enthusiastically terrified to try it out, which is why I'm trusting the small cadre at Kerala Kiteboarding, Stephen, Matt, and Pat, to show me the ropes. I've never done this before, so I'm like, I'm excited. I'm, a little, I'm actually a little nervous. I'm curious of how many times it's gonna take me to like try before I can actually like stand up and go. I'm gonna get three, three tries, maybe four. No more than four. So what's the story? Are there a bunch of kiters up on this end of the beaches? No, it's me, my girlfriend, Matt, and then our main instructor. And that's it. There's so many surfers up here. You wait a lot longer than you than you will be waiting for waiting. So there's wind here all the time. thing I've ever done in the water, period. That was harder than it all. Super awesome being out here with them though. My time in Curry Tuck isn't over just yet, but to make a filling end to my journey, I've planned a gathering with some of the new friends I've made. We're keeping the flavors local and fresh, from the fresh crabs, local craft beer, as well as fresh baked goods and other produce, it should make for a tasty thank you to toast the end of my adventure on the coast. And it's fresh. It is still warm. The Curry Tuck Sound is 30 miles long, and I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. To get the express tour, I'm meeting up with Currituck native Leah Twyford 
and canine concierge Winnie the Duck Dog at Corolla Water Sports for another first for me. Cool. We sorted. <laughs> that one yours? That one's mine. That one? Okay, okay. Oh gosh. Ready? <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Craytook County, um, you're at the Wellhead Club and the Lighthouse. Basically what the Wellhead Club is, is a historical house. Uh, a man built it for his wife when she wasn't allowed into one of the hunt clubs. And stories have been told that it's haunted. I myself has ne like, I haven't witnessed anything. You haven't seen any of the ghosts? No, <laughs> I've heard about them, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, and the Lighthouse, um, 214 steps. Climbed it when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> Went there on a field trip. But it's really beautiful. Very blessed to grow up in a place like this, for sure. Absolutely. Where can we get next? Uh, you want to go to Monkey Island? Let's go to Monkey Island. Cool. Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Whoa! Am I the only one getting soaking wet here? <laughs> Like I'm getting soaked and you're dry. No, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> so your your family's lived here for a long time. Yeah, um, my great grandfather, uh, Roland Twyford, came over here with my uh, great granddaddy George Twyford and his wife. But they were basically the caretakers of the island. Uh, they would take people duck hunting, fishing. Uh, they took care of. Um, the houses, the land, everything. And like I said, the land used to come all the way out to the bulkheads. You can see like when we go back around the island, there's still a house there. All of it's coming down and basically the water is washing the whole island away. Do you think this is kind of like a picture of that life out here is kind of like short lived? Like, you know, you may not have this forever. Yeah. It makes me sad talking about it, but definitely over the next like 25 years, like this isn't going to be here anymore. Yeah. Speeding across the waves was <laughs> frightening and fun. But to end my adventure here in Currituck, I'm doing something more my speed and joining Corolla Water Sports owner, Michael Meredith, for a downwind sunset paddleboard excursion. We're gonna go see sunset on paddle boards. We're gonna downwind it. We're gonna go upwind. Come on back. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> See, I know how to use one of these. That jet ski thing, Yeah, I was pretty sure it was gonna kill me a few times. <laughs> Did good though. <laughs> so, so your dad started a water sports company out here? Yeah, well, we started one at Sandbridge when I was six years old and then we came down here in the um, late 80s. I think it was 89. And that, and that just kind of turned into Corolla Water Sports? Yep, that's it, yep. My family pioneered it. I was lucky enough to be a part of it. Right. <laughs> A lot of the bulk of our business is, is the motor sports, the jet skis, the boat, pontoon boats and stuff like that. But the paddle sports are, especially stand up paddle boarding has taken off a lot recently. And it's cool to come up here in these marshes and stuff because most people don't see this side of it. So no one's hunting in this right now? No, not right, it's all, it's all in the winter time. Okay. The ospreys nest in it in the spring and summer. You can see them sitting up on there. Yeah, I see them. Are they gonna buzz us if we get too close? They might get a little upset. Yeah, there he goes. So you know we're coming? Oh yeah, he was talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't speak Osprey. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but I think he said, turn around. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty sunset. Isn't it? It really is. That's really pretty, dag on. It's all about moments, man. All about moments. Currituck County, North Carolina is split in two by an inland sound. And yeah, the mainland and its barrier islands are connected by a labyrinth of waterways, a handful of bridges, and two main highways. But it's more than that. It's a gathering place. It's a place where people connect. Maybe you drifted south across the state line and never looked back. Maybe you were born amongst Currituck's abundance of nature and could never imagine living anywhere else. Or maybe the serene ocean breeze drew you in and you just call it home for now, until the winds of life blow you on to your next journey. It's the moments you share from sunrise over the Atlantic to sundown over the sound. This episode of AWOL is brought to you in part by our friends at All Trails, your guide to the outdoors. Hey, hey, won't you come get lost? Won't you come get lost with me? Hey, hey, won't you come get lost? Won't you come get lost with me?